All right, so we're gonna do one more live drum segment with the oven. I wanted to show you guys some more extreme settings. We're gonna start with just a basic little bit of the temperature control and the cook control. We have it on the broil setting, so we're gonna get a little bit of compression, pushing the pentode stage a little. Our burners, which are our EQ and our sizzle are all flat, and we're kind of doing a medium input. We're not pushing it too crazy yet, but we'll get to that. But even with these light settings, check out how it adds energy to the drums and it kind of sustains the room sound and uh, just the room bleed through the microphones and the drums themselves. And the compression with the temperature control, I'm mean, sorry, with the uh, cook control gives it a little bit of natural compression, which sounds really good. So check this out. Now let's clean up some of the frequencies. We'll, we'll clean up some of those mids and we'll add a little bit of openness on the high end. Okay, now let's add some, some bottom. We gave our set of drums a cup of coffee. Let's add some sizzle now and uh, really make those cymbals shine. So that just adds so much to the stereo drums. Like we're not even processing individual drums tracks. We're, we're just putting it on a, on a stereo aux. Let's, uh, let's try to really push this and see what kind of uh, mangling we can do the, to the drums. That's great. It's just the way it handles the transients, adds some distortion. That would just sound really cool in a mix. I love it. 